Howdy everyone. So this is the right elevator is now finished on one side. This is the bottom side of the right elevator. This is now finished. You can see that I've opted not to wrap the uh, fiberglass tip. That's going to be painted mainly because for me being new to vinyl, I've assumed it was going to be too difficult to get the vinyl to curve in this orientation and to curve around the tip and to taper from fat to skinny and then somehow getting it to wrap around this front edge both in this orientation and or this orientation. I just figured that was going to be beyond my um, skill set at the moment. And I did not want to cut my teeth, if you will, doing vinyl on this part. So I just elected to take the easy way out and uh, just trim it short of the fiberglass. And then that will just get painted. So a couple of things. You can see the cutouts for the, um, for the hinge mounts. And... You may have noticed, I haven't looked at the time lapse, so I have no idea how short that is or how much you can actually see. But this, these openings were just cut out with an X-Acto knife. I've discovered that if you, rather than coming straight in with the knife, if you angle the knife out about a 45 degree angle and always have it angled out when you make your cut, it will cut the vinyl at a little bit of a chamfer and it makes a nice transition. You don't have a hard stop. You got a little bit of a, a little bit of a transition around the opening and uh, there is no vinyl left sticking out beyond the aluminum. So you can't catch it at all. So I tried to keep that in mind when I did all of these trimming pieces. When I trimmed all of this, this piece, you know, stuck out this way quite a bit. When I came in here with my X-Acto knife, again, I just angled it in toward the vinyl around a 45 degree angle, maybe not that much, and made the cuts. And that finishes off this edge really nice and there's nothing that can get caught now. You also note that I had stopped short of these rivets. Like I said, I was not going to grind these flat. Um, these are domed rivets, so I needed to keep them domed. And to uh, put vinyl around all of these, to have the vinyl wrap around and to get it to seal nice in between the rivets and to seal nice around each rivet, again, might be doable. I didn't want to full with that. I didn't want to take the time to try to do that. I think over time it would probably lift between the rivets anyway. Um, not the end of the world because this is going to be mostly hidden when it's attached to the elevator or to the uh, stabilizer. Anywho, I just trimmed it short um, and then when I, I'll show you when I do the top side you can see the distance between the edge of the aluminum and the rivet head. There's like a 3 16 inch gap. When I do the other side, I'll also stop it short about 3 16 of an inch from the rivet head. And that will leave just a, a bare metal, a bare aluminum strip all the way down the, the uh, rivet line of the elevators. It looks cool. Um, again, you probably never really see it. But that's how I decided to, to finish these off. So areas around the hinges and like this kind of a thing, anywhere where the vinyl overhung the aluminum, I trimmed it with an X-Acto. But anywhere that the vinyl needed to stop short of some other piece, I elected to use cut tape, the, uh, the knife edge finishing vinyl cut tape stuff. I've got a roll of it here. This is eighth inch thick. Let me uh, break out a piece. I'm trying to unroll this a little bit. Hold on. So this is the this is eighth inch wide. The actual 
tape itself is eighth inch wide. The filament in the center of it that actually does the cutting, that's uh, very small. That's just basically a piece of string. But I use this cut tape to do areas like this where I didn't want to try to come in here with a knife and make a perfectly straight cut with, a, with an X-Acto blade. I also attach these fiberglass tips with um, Pro Seal, not Pro Seal, fuel tank sealant. And I didn't want to come back through here with a knife and cut into that. So on these types of transition places, I use the, uh, the knifeless cut tape. So I used it here and I used it on this uh, front rivet line that I was just talking about. I also used it down through here. It just made it a little bit easier than trying to find an edge to follow with the blade. And I, I also wasn't too keen on running the blade along on top of the aluminum that's underneath here. So I used the cut tape for this entire edge here. And then if I can flip this over. So like I said, this is the bottom. So now I'm going to do the top. But you'll see that I wrapped the vinyl around the trailing edge. I believe I talked about this yesterday or whenever I did my time lapse. So now this is the top of the elevator. And the vinyl that I had put on the bottom is now wrapped around and it comes up onto the top like you see here. So this top vinyl will be put on and it will wrap over top of this, of course, and wrap around underneath. Not ideal, but um, it's easy to do and um, I'll have a little bit of, a, uh, of an overlap, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather have that than just have a, a butt joint, if you will. Now they do make, and I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's just plain super glue or if it's something fancy, but they do make, it looks like a, almost like a Sharpie marker, and it's got some kind of an applicator on the end of it, and you can smear that on wherever you're going to have a seam, and I think you do it beforehand, and then you do the wrap, and it will just help, it's an extra layer of adhesive I believe that will help hold these edges down. I suppose you could probably experiment with that and if you wanted to do a butt joint you could run my vinyl right to this edge. I could use cut tape to get it cut nice and straight, have it butt up against this edge and then maybe after the fact come through here with that applicator and put a bead between the two pieces to kind of seal that I don't know if that's true. I don't know how that stuff works. Again, I didn't want to get into all that. I feel better having it overlapped just so that they have a nice seal. And I know that uh, moisture and water and stuff like that cannot get in between or underneath the vinyl. So now when I do this top piece, I'll go ahead and I'll put my cut tape along here. I'll put my cut tape along that front rivet line. And like I said, it's going to come down and wrap around. So when I wrap it, let me flip this back over. So now when I wrap, I bring that vinyl around, it's going to come up here and it will lay on top of this vinyl just a little bit on the trailing edge. So what I'll do, I'll put this cut tape along here and I'm going to run a piece of cut tape all the way down this trailing edge, about a quarter of an inch from the edge, maybe a little bit more, nice and straight. When I put my vinyl on and bring it around and I get it all fitted, then I can pull that cut tape and it will leave a nice long straight line on top just like it did on the bottom here. And again, it's a little bit of an overlap, but I'm okay with it. 
So, I think that's about it. I think that's it. Cut tape and uh, exacto blades, basically, for me. So, I will um, get started on the other side. I guess I'll do another time lapse. It's not, probably not going to look any different than what I've already done. But um, I'm not really going to do a tutorial just because I don't want to take the time. Um, I would have to move the camera a lot. I'd have to do a lot of things holding the camera. Um, and I can't work one-handed. Um, it's just too much work for me. If I had uh, multiple people around with multiple cameras, that would be different. But I don't have that luxury. I just have this and a tripod. So the best I can do is a time lapse. Even if I were to do a real-time video, you wouldn't be able to see exactly what I'm doing unless I held the camera in hand and tried to do everything one-handed, which I just can't do. So... I'll just keep doing some time lapse and um, talk about stuff in detail if I think it's worthy. So I'll flip this thing over, clean it, and uh, I'll start on the other side. <laughs> 